One day, my Karen tribal friend, Grace, offered to take me to a Kapok village. Jeannie, a young Jesus people girl, and Grace's teenage son, Timothy, accompanied us, along with a dignified elderly tribal woman, Tramutushi. We traveled several hours by bus, then by tuk-tuk, and at last arrived at a Kapok plantation with hundreds of tall, straight trees planted in rows. Awaiting shipment were gunny sacks of fluffy seed pods scattered between the trees. I never thought much about Kapok. It was used to stuff mattresses and teddy bears before the invention of polyester, but I'd never wondered how it originated. Tramutushi brought us to a house belonging to her friend. It was teak with no furniture, which was normal for that village. At the Bible study conducted by Tramutushi that night, a swarthy young Thai man kept staring at me. A whole jewelry store's worth of amulets, statues of Buddha, elephants, tigers, and revered monks hung around his neck. Thais often wear amulets as good luck charms to ward off evil spirits. Finally, I whispered to Grace, Why is he staring? He's making me uncomfortable. And Grace smiled. He says you're not wearing any amulets, she whispered back. So that was it. Tell him I don't need amulets. My God protects me. The following evening, we were coming back from another house. Moonlight helped to brighten the path as Tramutu she led the way. Grace followed her, and then Jeannie. Timothy was fourth, carrying a flashlight torch in British Karen parlance. He shined it ahead of him on the path. I followed behind. Suddenly, Timothy stopped. Auntie, he whispered, snake. He shined his flashlight just ahead of his feet onto a snake, slowly slithering across the path. Stunned, we both watched it disappearing into the field at the side of the path. I don't know how long it was. I never saw the end of it. The other three folks who were walking ahead of us never saw it. When we got home, Timothy told the waiting group, Big snake on the path. About this big around, I added, circling my thumbs and fingers to show us her circumference about like a softball. A snake, Jeannie shouted. I didn't see a snake. What snake? asked Grace. It was cream colored, said Timothy, with red spot splotches, I added. Our host was shocked. Oh, that snake, very bad. We say that snake bite you, you look down, then look up, you already dead. The amulet man was there again that evening. I figured it was lesson time, I said. Grace, tell him my God protected me. God's very good at show and tell. I thought about what had happened and said in a soft voice to Timothy, that snake was moving so slowly, it had to be in the path when your mother and Ramatushi and Jeannie went by. They must have stepped over it. Their shoes never touched it, and they never looked down. Good thing, Timothy giggled. Mother's so afraid of snakes. If she see it, she faint. We carry her home. I think God let Timothy and me see the snake so we could tell people about the miracle. I don't know if the amulet man ever had the courage to accept protection from Jesus and take off his amulets. But I do know one thing. I'm thankful God protected me. That night we really celebrated.